Hi, my name's Sue. Welcome again to our gardens. This is our tree cubby house here and uh, it's a weeping mulberry, this tree. And we, um, so, and then we, we've got, um, the kids have a little table and chairs inside. <clears throat> and inside, inside, we can have little tea parties with this beautiful green canopy up above. And there's quite a little room in here under the, this is a pretty um, Gora that kathy has got over here. It's neither the white or the pink. It's got white and pink on it, which is really pretty. Granny, why is that bird? Bird. Down here beside the cubby house tree, we've got a lovely patch of white Goras, which are just beautiful. And here's a third pinker version of the Gora. Hey, Scoo, how are you? Here we have Mum and Dave hard at work. Dave's Mum's right hand man. We get Dave to help us two times, uh, well, two, uh, once a week. He comes around and gives his hand in the garden, helps Mum achieve all her, her vision. Here come the children. Hey, hey, Ty, do you want to show us how you use the rope swing? Can I show you? Sure you can. You show them how you can climb it, darling. Okay. So we have hey, a... Ty shows them how to swing and I'll show them how I climb it. Okay. So, use the muscles. Muscles Ivy. Up she goes. Up she goes. Up to the top. And there she is on the very top seat. David! David's working, Ty. Yes, darling. What's that? What's that? That's the stand for my, uh, the tripod for my camera. It can sit on that. Yeah. So just leave that, please. Thank you. Ty, were you going to show me how you can swing on the, on the rope swing? I'm watching. Watch it. Very clever boy. There's our beautiful Stacy girl. She's such a sweetheart. She's our beautiful goofy girl. And I'll just get this. Uh, uh, this is Kathy, my sister. She lives next door and all in on the cabin. same property in, in Kathy's cabin. So mum and Dave here are fertilising the plants. So this happens once a fortnight. Uh, a spoonful of the Thrive, which is... Which Thrive is it mum? Thrive fertiliser? Yeah, the flower, yeah. The flower, flower, and, and fruit. flower and fruit Thrive. And also a... Um, how much is in a, a little scoop of the sea salt? 40 mils. 40 mils of sea salt per bucket. And then mum fills, fills up the buckets and Dave waters all the pot plants with them. So this is just for the pot plants. We do this once a fortnight. And we, yes, we do this once a fortnight. So I'm just sitting down here um, having a break. For morning tea and I thought I'd share with you guys what I'm seeing in the garden. So we've got the bird water in here and I can see a little I can see a little uh, there's a honey eater in there. Can you see it? Here did he go? again for you. Down 
Eastern Spinebill. He's lovely. So this morning I've got out my proper camera to try and get some better quality footage for you. Because I was a bit disappointed in the image quality of my first videos there. He's a busy little bird, isn't he? Got to visit every single one of those little flowers. <coughs> so this is the fat cake feeder. And the little fairy wrens like this one. And so we've got, we started with a bird cage we purchased. And then we had to strap it up with all these seat ties and clips and things all over it. That's to stop the bigger birds getting in and stealing all the food, uh, particularly uh, bow birds. And, um, and then we had to wire, see the extra wiring in down the bottom there? That's to, <laughs> that's all in efforts to let the little birds in and stop the big birds getting the feet, the feet, the fat cake. I plan on doing um, how, a how to make a fat cake video, so that should be coming out shortly. So uh, we have a king parrot. We've decided to join. Isn't he a fine bird? A very fine specimen. That's the male king parrot. The female has a, a duller green, a dull green head. <clears throat> She's all got a bit of red on her tummy. Uh, he also has lime green stripes on his wings which you can't really see from this angle. We've got a, we've got a little fire tail having a bird path down here in the pond. He's having a lovely splash about. I heard him before I saw him. <laughs> He's kind of splashing the water around so much. It's gone. Isn't he beautiful? Pretty sure he's a fantail. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Check it out, he's a little guy, a little fun tail. He's sitting on the Very enthusiastic bather. Isn't that gorgeous? Here we have Bella in her native habitat. She's a beautiful girl. She is half Staffy, half Chape. Here's our beautiful puppy. All flaked out, having a rest. Tired from playing. So I'm just uh, dead here, taking all the, the dead uh, or part, flowers that are passed it off the marigolds this morning. Try and do this every, at least every couple of days. Keep the flowers looking fresh and it keeps them producing more. If you don't take the flowers off any bush, it will think its job is done and it will start producing seeds for the next season and be putting all its energy into those seeds rather than your flowers. So if you want to promote your flowers, you should take off your, seed, your, your old flower heads. So 
I was just um, working on these uh, marigolds here, pulling off the uh, the dead deadheading the old flowers so that uh, it will flower more for us, more prolifically for us. And when I was doing this, I noticed just below here in the Californian poppies uh, an absolute mass of the little native bees in the flowers. Look at them all in there. Look like little tiny flies, but they're bees. Absolutely alive with native bees, which is so lovely to see. Can you see them all buzzing around so busily? So we've got down just down below this garden bed a lower level there that doesn't get that gets completely ignored, and that's all all California poppies down there. And we have another big uh, weeping mulberry, but we don't have a, a cubby house under that one. Well, it's been another exciting day here at the farm, and uh, hope to see you next time. Please like and subscribe, that would help me a lot. Thanks, bye.